what's going on everybody welcome back to auto transport intel it is thursday mic check one two three it is what is it noon time central time and in fact what we're doing is we're doing another continuation of our special live event we've got ty i'm just checking the audio here mic check one two yeah we're okay uh special live event finished vehicle logistics it's day two of two ty is live in california and so we're checking in with him now this is the automotive logistics finished vehicle logistics north america conference north america conference it's a big conference it's a um it's a lot of executives we're talking oems a lot of oem presence of all the shows that we talk about and go to this one has probably the most oems present and you hear a lot of um, high level conversation about production transportation distribution visibility agility etc that's what ty is going to be talking about recapping and filling us in i just want to say this excuse me please do hit the like button thank you so much you can also share this link if you so choose you can also go to autotransportintel.com click on sign up you can become an ati insider you can jump in the live chat you can do all those things let's do this let's go live with ty and say hello Ty, can you see me and hear me okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Live. Beautiful day. Newport Beach. Happy to be at the finished vehicle. And then the happy calls to... the calls come in, <laughs> right? The calls, he's yeah. always live. Yeah, he's live. Uh, no, happy to be here again day two. It's actually day three, but day two of actual conference. Uh, just kind of wrapping up the family feud for solutions and the mess that we're currently in. So, uh been a really good show and, and one of the things that you know you like i watched christopher ludwig he's putting out these interviews about you know kind of highlights those guys are they're the technical side of this which is amazing right i personally like this part of it because i get to hang out with these people after the conference and kind of run around get to talk to them get to know them personally so one of the people that i really want to get excited about and uh share the relationship aspect of being at these places <laughs> is uh that was john our buddy john with uh rpm hopefully we'll get and to interview them too do me a favor before you go in show us the board let's oh, talk yeah, yeah. about some of the <clears throat> excuse me let's talk about some of the people there frog yeah, in my yeah. throat. Get the frog out of your throat dude yeah dude okay so the top of this board it says finish vehicle logistics we got it okay look who's number one what does that say jay Innovate innovation partner. Freight Verify. Freight Verify is your innovation partner. Then what else you got? Gold Partners. Gold Partners. We got Accelerated <laughs> Services, Assertus, Black Widow Imaging, CRC Transport. I saw Draver up there. Everybody, everybody calls Ty when we go live, right? Hey yeah, Ty, I bad. see. Hey, um, I saw you live. I see a lot. Okay. ICL Inform, Jack Cooper, JMN. Yes, we know a okay, lot of these. Let me tell you. Yes. Okay, this, they did a breakout session. I didn't get to go to it, but I heard a lot about it. It was awesome. It was the, you want to be a truck driver. <laughs> so I got to hear some of the highlights of that. And actually, that one turned out to be an awesome breakout session, I heard, because you could hear them. They were in the other room, and there was nothing but laughing, clapping, and yelling going on over wow. there. So wow. if you want to be a truck driver, these people might be interested in hiring. Some services. Yeah, which is interesting. Uh, I got to have some dinner with these people. JMN. Okay, JMN. JMN. Uh, Cindy and Kelly. Cindy COO, I believe. Uh, our buddy Kurt DeRoy. DeRu. Remember Kurt? It's DeRoy. Kurt DeRoy. Rachel, That's right. do you have one second? I don't. I actually okay, keep going. going. Keep I'm going. Sorry. Run, run. I got my camera on you. Okay, that was Rachel <laughs> with Accelerated. I was going to ask her, but she's busy. Okay. Uh, Jack Cooper, uh, Kurt was here. We got to hang out with him last night. Kurt's looking for drivers. Assertus looking for drivers. JMM's looking for drivers. Um, okay, that's all the people I talked to. I did meet this guy right here. Yes. Can't remember his name. Uh, interesting company. They're primarily enclosed. Also, I met Reliable, Shannon, a guy. If I could find him again, that'd be cool. He's going to come on. He's Shannon, Shannon. Somebody from Reliable is definitely coming on the show. I forgot to tell you that. I talked to this guy last night. These guys need drivers too, but guess what? They don't want just any driver, okay? I, reliable. I learned so much about Reliable last night. I'm blown away. 
absolutely blown away. So you think, okay, what is reliable haul? High-end cars, maybe the rich people cars? I don't know. We'll wait for the trash guy to get by. Hold on. And I want to say this, you know, you know what's amazing is that so when I opened the show today, that's what these these conferences are you never exactly know what you're going to get. Because when I opened the show today, I was talking to go to camera one. I was talking about OEMs, right? And one could be like, God, that's so boring, Jay. I'm going to go watch another video. And yet five minutes later, Ty is talking about all of the carrier companies that we recognize regularly. So you've got OEMs there. you got carrier companies there. And I know that... So the, the price tag to go to the show, it's a little... It's a little out of range for some folks, right? But if you are, if you have a, if you have a small fleet, why wouldn't you go to this show, right? Yeah, I my my advice on this one, uh, and this is just pulled this right out of the thin air, right? Um, my advice, if you're a fleet, I'd say ten or more, and you've been in business, maybe five or more, this would be something for you to definitely consider, right? Yeah, uh, if it de- and of course a lot of this depends on your business. So, you know, if you want to get a hold of us, uh, hey, proficient guys, Rachel, Rachel is so busy she's got to go. Let me see if I can get these guys on camera. <laughs> there they and, are. Uh, anybody? There they are. <laughs> there they are. There's there Brad. Are. There's Randy, and there's John. The guy, the big guys. Hey, Randy. Hey, Brad. Hey, John. How are you guys? Good. Come here. Proficient? No, no, say, no. No. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Just kidding you. Go get in your beer. Okay. Uh, yeah, scary, we're live. Right? We're still live. All right. So, we're back. All right. So, let's, um, okay. So, I like what you were saying. Drivers. If you were, if you're a small fleet, 10 trucks or more, in business, five years or more, you might want to consider yeah. going to the show. And I like, see, that's the thing. No, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say what you just said. And that's part of our, we are to get information and bring back, condense it, and then provide specifics. Yeah, I, I think because, you know, the thing, okay, to get it to get an OEM contract is, you, you, that takes a while, you know, 10, 20 years in business, pretty decent sized fleet. So anyway, back to the these these but, trucking companies. Are, hang on yeah. one second. OEM contract, right? You're not going to get that. But we've heard even folks like Charles Franklin say, wedge trailers, sub haulers. Well, I talked connected. to Steve. You know right. Steve with Nissan. I talked to him today. He was the guy that threw that out there. These guys are talking bullwhip, three wedgies. I mean, they didn't use the word wedgies, but they're saying wedge trailers. Um, and, and then they're I'll, talking about go ahead well that's the thing i'm sorry but that's the thing ty is that you and i both know wedge trailers are considered like outside of the group and yet we hear the oems and their logistics managers talk about wedge trailers what's going on with that ty um this is this is what i think i think what okay so what are, where are we at as an oem oems are having a problem what's the problem chip shortage so there's a production problem that means we're not cranking out as many cars so there's these terms that i keep hearing around here that i'm like okay that kind of makes sense if you hear it about 12 times which is levels of inventory used to be 90 days now they're uh i believe 30 right and they want to get it in the middle to 45 so used to you could go to uh i believe the oem and they've got a 90 day supply of cars that are on the ground ready to go if i could be wrong about this if I am correct me, but <clears throat> that because of the crisis, blah, blah, pandemic, all that stuff. Now we're down to 30 day supply. So there's a problem. Um, and so now I, I see two things happening here. I see there's a, a conditioning effect happening, right? You don't have to go to the store and buy the car anymore. You just buy it in your pajamas at home, home, home delivery. Right. And so here's what I want to get at. Again, I'm going to, I'm going to hit this again is that there seems to be, we get, it's talked about that we need better collaboration. And then somebody yeah. on stage said, get your own collaboration in order yeah. before you talk, Lord. okay, before you talk about other collaboration. Well, I want to say that about, I want to, I want to go straight to the heart of the Elk Lodge and say, 
if you guys are going to keep calling them wedgies, pushing them out of the group, but the OEMs and the logistic managers keep saying we need every trailer and the wedge trailers, why are you pushing guys out of the group when your bosses are saying we need them? What's, what are you doing? Why is there so much anti-wedgie talk in our vertical and the other verticals are like, yeah, we'll take wedge trailers. What's up with that, Ty? Mm, I think, uh, you know, I, I can honestly have some empathy for this conversation, being a, a fleet guy that transports nine cars at a time. Well, you know, having a, that's my past. So I can kind of have some empathy for this because we've been conditioned to go move large volumes of cars. That's what we're good at. That's why we have this equipment, the investment in the equipment, the, you know, the time and the energy to keep the drivers in the trucks. So there's going to be resistance. And the reason I, my opinion, there's a lot of money tied up in this, right? I mean, these truck, these big trucks are 300 grand now, Jay, and I've got 30 of them out back. 300 grand times 30 that's a pretty big bill to pay every month and now you're telling me that you want me to put nine cars on my nine car hauler going to six different locations is that what you're saying so i could get a little bit upset about it right i could kind of have some pushback about it now if i'm paying attention to what's been going on for the last year and i'm watching ati and i'm hearing ty stand out in the transport parking lot and say you better start talking to your car dealer and find out what's he doing for his used car inventory, his new car inventory, because that's going to tell you which direction you're going to go. And if your new car, used car dealer is telling you, yeah, we're not going to the auctions anymore. We're buying in people's driveways or, you know, within a hundred mile radius and we're buying them in six different zip codes. Okay. There's a chance you might want to take a couple steps back and you might want to start thinking maybe this $300,000 truck, I could sell it, put maybe five or six or 10, little three car wedges on there to accommodate, to service my customer. Does, am I making sense? Can I get an amen? Yeah, you're, I get an amen. And by the way, I want to say this. Thank you, Chris. Yes, happy Veterans Day to everybody. Thank you for the veterans that have served, right? It's Veterans Day. When I acknowledge that, we appreciate it. But back to this conversation is that- How's it going? I'll tell you, that's the thing. <laughs> psych, psych. <laughs> I'm warming up to light. But I just want to say that the the folks that are still like wedgie this, wedgie that, are you reading the news? Have you been outside? Have you been to a conference How lately? Because you? if you're anti wedgie, you are you you are not listening to what the OEM. Well, are and and about. here's the other thing. I think that you have to be careful because here's okay. So we've been for a year. We've been on the board. Okay, hey, you might want to consider this this and this if you if you have a big fleet you might want to think think this through so here's a here's some interesting feedback for you okay hashtag bullwhip hashtag bullwhip what okay do you guys know um barry williams with hansen and atkins okay barry williams hansen that's a big name big guy big player He's standing there with Steve. I can't remember his last name. The big guy from Jernigan from, uh, hold Steve, on. Steve Jernigan. Steve Jernigan? I think so. If you're joining us now, so we're, Ty is live at Finnish Vehicle Logistics in California, and we're talking about, what are we talking about here, Ty? Did we lose I had to hit the oh. mute button. There was okay. a big rig coming through. All right, I'm cool. almost in a transport parking lot, Jay. Okay. Like right here's the transport parking lot. There. There it is. You see it? I saw it. How are you? Good. Uh, okay. <clears throat> that was loud and crazy. Okay. I forgot where I was going there. Well, okay, you were talking the, the about bullwhip. Barry? Yeah, bullwhip. the bullwhip. Yeah. Hashtag bullwhip. So I'm standing there, I'm talking to Barry Williams and Hanson Atkins. I'm talking to Steve Jer, say it, Jer? Jernigan. 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 Steve Jernigan. He's Nissan. Okay. Yes. Yes. Steve actually brought up on stage yesterday, hashtag bullwhip. What is bullwhip? Okay. Bullwhip is, is it looks like everything's doing this and the world's coming to an end. And then all of a sudden, go go hurry move move car go everybody right so here's where it gets more dicey okay i mean i don't want to be in any of these guys position i definitely don't want ty and jay yelling at me about not buying wedges because 
I'm sitting here riding on the fence and I've got to figure out what am I going to do? Am I going to roll the dice? Am I going to believe this is going to turn around the America that I believe in and have always believed in? Or am I going to maybe roll a little bit this way? Is there opportunity? So you step back. There's options. You can keep going. Maybe it's a good idea to go ahead and incorporate this because we've been in this for a year and dealers have figured out they can actually buy cars in driveways and they still need the wedges, but you still got to have the nine cars. Maybe this could be an expansion of your business. So I can keep talking for hours that fast about it. There's just a lot of options, but you do, to, to Jay's point, what Jay said, and Jay's right, to, to hear these big guys talk about bringing in wedges is definitely something you should pay attention to. To hear these guys talk about the OEMs consolidating is also a big topic. What does that mean? Consolidating means the OEMs are willing to have their cars with somebody else's cars on the same truck. Oh, like, what? man. Talk, see, what? That's, and that's exactly. What? If, if, what? <laughs> if you are only listening to yesterday's news, exactly, you are not it, it's starting to drive me crazy. Like, talk about anti-narrative. We have people in our own vertical above us proposing false backward narrative. The OEMs are talking about the future and how we're going to collaborate. And we have folks in our own vertical. This is why, like, now I know. One of the functions of this channel is to push back at these false narratives. That the dispatchers are illegal and wedgies are all bad. Both of those things are ridiculous. Because if we're going to truly collaborate and, and deal with the bullwhip, we got to actually recognize what's working and what we... And there, there's problems. Absolutely there's some problems. I just put Ty on the spot. Ty's live in California in front of a sponsorship board and Jay is like going crazy. Well, if you're all right with it, it seems a little more quiet. I'd like to kind of start moseying my way in there. I definitely want to spend some time with Jason Hawk at Black Widow. Uh, I got to spend some incredible moments with him, you know, kind of behind the scenes. And I'm telling you guys, okay, so we, we have these companies on here. We talk about them. They're advertisers, sponsors, whatever they are. But here's, here's where it gets fun. When you start hearing stories, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag this story out of this guy. And when you guys hear this, you're like, what? This is, this is the founder of a massive company, and he's doing what? So if you're cool with it, I've kind of hit some of the highlights. One last highlight I want to hit on the driver shortage. You know, everybody's got an idea on how to fix the driver shortage, and I didn't hear one of the ideas being get the OEMs to get into the lobby game to get the overreach of the federal government off the transports back. You're like, well, how does that deal with driver shortage? Well, I've had a lot of drivers, and here's one thing my drivers are really genuinely, sincerely messed up in the head about, way stations. I've had drivers for years do everything they can to go around a way station to burn more fuel, to cost me more money, to whatever the case may be, because they're afraid of the way station. What's the way station? It's government telling people what to do and scaring the drivers away. So let me just ask some of the OEMs or some of the dealers, whoever, trailer manufacturers you guys want drivers get the overreach out of here that's why i've been drinking eld punch for two years dude and and i and i'll tell you what you don't want to hear this i was watching a, a video i'm gonna let you go or you're gonna keep going but i was watching a video and there's more more overreach coming great i yeah. love it i know me too i'm such Drink a fan punch. yeah me too Always, every day. Uh, it's oh, yeah. still too loud in here. But I'm going to see if I can grab Jason. There he is. Hey, Jason, you're going the wrong way. Hey, there's Wim. Hey, Wim. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Hey. How have you been? I've been pretty good. Did you have a good time so far? Have you learned anything? Uh, I'm learning a lot. What do you do about... Uh, I'm learning a lot about visibility. You got visibility? So explain that to us. Uh, what are they looking for visibility for? For accountability. Accountability. You ready? You ready? You got a minute? Yeah, right. yeah, Come on. Is alive? This is Matt. This is Matt, and this is Mike. Matt and Mike put all this stuff together. Look at this, guys. You see that? Look, all that. To put all that together, that's what they do. 
So, as Ty was just saying, I'll just jump in. The, Matt and Mike do the installation work for Black Widow. Huh? It, it is. It is so loud. It is. It's so loud in there. We're kind of. We're gonna come out here where it's not as loud. And we're, I want to just do a quick interview with Jason, and then we'll uh, we'll call it. A, maybe we'll see what happens after that. Let's go back out here. It's a lot nicer. Yeah, it's loud enough. <clears throat> I kind of set this up for you, Jason, because you guys have been so good to the ATI uh, gang. Yeah. And uh, I was telling him. It's cool. You know, we, we get to talk about the product, the, the service that it provides all the time. And let's get this straight right here, yeah. which is fun. And the, the amount of money, the amount of energy to get here and to be the founder, which is really cool. But the thing that I was so impressed with the other night, I wanted to hear this story again, because this is stuff that only real people, truckers do. So tell us a little bit about what you've been doing, say, a week ago. Well, we've been... Uh... Uh, it was by chance, but a lot of flights have been canceled. And um, so we hopped in our rig and, uh, you know, that's our roots, right? Trucking, you know, so. Uh, well, time out. Tell us about the rig. For <laughs> well, so, yeah, yeah, this so, rig. This so, rig. So, so the Black Widow rig is about 94 foot long and it uh, uh, houses our office um, on a Freightliner chassis. And so we, uh, we sleep in it. We work out of it with an office. And then, of course, it has a trailer behind it that actually deploys a uh, Black Widow display. So, um uh, there's something about the windshield time, you know, as a trucker, you know, that's you where know. you do your thing. I mean, that's, I came up with the black little drive back from Dallas, looking at that windshield. So anyway, we would, uh, we traveled to some of our auctions and, uh, being that, uh, we're in the rig and we're not on uh, flight schedules, we, we pull in, uh, when everybody's gone and we started, you know, realizing and looking at the logistics and the bottlenecks and, you know, the truckers. And as I'm, you know, in the middle of the night, I can see these truckers dropping off and, auction workers you know shorthanded or and all collectively you know we start realizing that you know we're really moving in the efficiency side of everything you know so i'm watching these truckers go back and forth and drop them in the middle of the night and we're gathering this data realizing that uh, the value proposition for what we put together is limitless uh, as to the bottlenecks you know so uh unfortunately we're pointing out some inefficiencies but those inefficiencies uh we have a solution so it's a headache, but we're also hailing you the Tylenol. It's so, a headache, but we're hailing you awesome. the Tylenol. So the reason I like that story is because he ends up camping out in the transport parking lot. Yeah. And literally watched all night long. Yeah. Okay. This is the founder of Black Widow, right? This is the guy that found it. And he's in his truck driving down the road, and he's camping out at the auction where he has put his product. Are you following this? Yeah. Okay. This guy drives his own truck to the auction parks because he wants to find what's you're trying to figure it out, right? Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix the problem. There's only one way to fix the problem. And that is, you know, here, this is an event. We're in our suits, right? But the 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 innovation and the problem has to be solved boots on the ground. And, and we're boots and we're not afraid to go anywhere from boots to suits. So if we're going to sit down, you know, and talk great, but we got to be out there with the boots. I, the first place I went, I didn't go see the general manager. I went and saw the guys that are that are, need help, that are struggling. That I went to them with little small things, and they said, "How do you know that? How do you understand <laughs> okay. what Listen, we're going through?" How do you, and I'm like, how do you know that? I invented this from where you stand right now. Exactly. And they were so appreciative, you know, to be understood that I didn't just come there to make a deal with the guy that writes the check. I came there to get with the people on the boots that had the problem, make their life better. So this is a funny, sorry to interrupt, but no, this is a funny fine. part of the story because he's later, he goes back into the, the big truck, the big rig, does a little 180 shower, rinse off, put on the, go see the GM. He's yep. walking through and what happened? Uh, well, the, you know, I, I, I got a, uh, approached by the GM as a, you know, coming on the grounds and looking at everything. And there's a little bit of a, a scuffle, you know, <laughs> because I, I was pointing out some things that I want to help with. Right. And, uh, you know, went in the rig, had, had a little conversation, and you know, we left understanding each other. You know what I mean? He really was like, well, and, thank and, you for <clears throat> just taking a minute to stop me in my tracks and understand Finally. where you're here to help. Right. I mean, he flat out told me. He said, look, Jason, he goes, thank you for taking the time. He goes, if you, if Black Widow told me to park the cars on the roof for better efficiencies, I'll put them on the roof. Put them on the roof. And if you tell me to hang the Black Widow from that 100-foot flagpole, we'll do that too. <laughs> Um, so it was it was compelling, and I think even my team, their data that they've collected 
I think uh, we're really going to shock some people. I think there's going to be a lot more conversations with the CE, CFOs. CFOs, right. You know what I mean? The numbers guys that are looking at this. Because I think people, when they first think of this, they think, oh, my God, this piece of equipment is so expensive. And you're adding to my cost. And when you really plug it in the efficiencies, right. they can, well, they can afford, some of these auctions can afford five black widows. Exactly. Because here, a quarter. So here's what, here's what Jason saw. Okay, in his RV, all literally all night, 3 a.m. Yeah, I watched all the cameras, time lapse. I mean, drivers. Wow. Drivers, wow, bringing wow. them in, bringing them in. And when I went to sleep, okay, at 11 o'clock, from the gate to the check-in point was totally empty. By morning, there was over 200 cars throughout the night. So these truckers, they got them there at 2, 3, 4, 6 in the morning before the sun came up. In. Right. But I promise you those truckers were tired. I promise oh. you they got no credit. And I promise you, they probably got that those that. dealers <laughs> were pissed that their cars were not online or didn't make it through the sale. Okay, so there's the key point right there, guys. I want you to hear this. Did you guys hear? Are you following all this? So, okay, I Jason, talk fast, but I mean, founder, is, yes, no, I, I, talk, and I love it. Oh, I heard talking. dealers um, yesterday. Better hours for dealers on stage yesterday, right? Oh yeah, better hours for dealers on stage yesterday. That's my time. Okay, um, so. The, the, this is where it gets funny because I've, I've done this and Jason's done this. Probably a lot of people watching this, but you get that phone call from the dealer or the auction. Hey, hurry up and yeah. go get those cars. Yeah, hurry up. It's three o'clock in the yeah. afternoon and you want me to drop everything, go get the cars yeah. and have them to the auction by right. tonight? Yeah, and miss my family and they get no credit. No credit, but you're in trouble because now no they credit. didn't go. They didn't get checked I in. I mean, on, no offense to the dealer. I understand they wanted it their lot until the night before it, yeah. to try and save it but then hurry up and get it there, right? Right. I mean, they've never moved a car. Uh, you know what I mean? I mean, no they offense, but someone don't know the difference between a spare tire and a steering wheel. Exactly. You know, and here's, you know, a truck with over a mile of hydraulic lines, oh, moving man. in the weather, unloading, horrible climates. He's making extra steps. You know yeah, what I mean? Hydraulic, crawling underneath yeah. five cars that could just accidentally yeah, fall on yeah, it. No big know? deal. So, so the car, so the deal, so this is what, okay, I love the story just because it's real. All right. This is, this is the kind of people that, ATI really embraces and loves yeah. those I kind of people. Where I've we, been the trucker. I've been the guy getting yelled at. And there's unnecessary moves. Yeah. And, and, and what we, yeah. you know, yeah. even Black Widow, because we're not truckers anymore, well, we are still, but we're not trucking like we used to. You know, it's nice having uh, two showers and a rig and an office versus <laughs> the old rig. You just had a bed. Yeah, um, the 36-inch right, coffin. Right, right. That was my favorite. Yeah, yeah right. But, you know, still for us, you know, we are logistics. Yeah. We just logistically send the picture through the Internet. Oh, absolutely. And I think that's going to save a lot of costly moves, and it's going to give credit what credit's due. Yeah. And it, so Jason and I get to have this talk because I keep talking about the commercial I saw with the car, the new, the latest model of car that's coming, coming out. Coming out that you can't get. That you can't get, right? Yep. So what are we doing with that information? And I think. There's well, they, you heard it yesterday. I don't know if anybody caught, you know, part of that. We'll, we'll share, you know, our, our speech. But, you know, Hyundai Globus, the biggest mover of, of vehicles across, uh, you know, the water, right, right across right. the pond. Um, even the truckers, you know, the, the there's going to be a, a current. There used to be a 90 to 120 day supply of vehicles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell the, listen to okay, this. So here's, yeah. this is, this this is what good. I said it. This is right. This is right from the OEM's mouth that dealerships will go from a 90 day supply down to a 30 day supply. So we are talking about, Hey, don't think you can just walk away. Come here. Yeah. Sorry. As, <laughs> as, as this goes down. So what I'm telling you is that I believe that the car is going to become like a piece of fruit. You know, okay. we're not going to go to these stale cars. We're not going right. to order, you know, the extra six brown ones. Okay. Yeah. Have them on the lot. These customers want to see a visual. That was said every day today for three every days. Day. Visibility, visibility, I visibility. See. Right. The customer wants to see it. So now we're not going to order the, the brown one. Right. We're going to get the one they want. It's going to get here. And when it's here, it's sold. So it's like a piece of fruit. Now it's going to be sold before it's rotten. There you go. And I think that's going to be less moves. It's and better it, for the environment. It's safer for the truckers. One of the things that I heard yesterday that I thought was interesting is, uh-oh, time out. Good Somebody's Lord, calling time. Go. Now we're good. We're back. Oh, we're good. Tell them. Right. Tell, yeah, tell them. Yeah. Um, the, the cost savings for the OEM with this idea that you just, Jason just said, is. It, it's mind-boggling. I, I, you, would, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. I'm not going to go there. I'll let I'll let the CFO speak to the yeah. numbers on that. So do you do you do you understand what we're saying, Jay? This idea about this supply? 
Well, I do. So they make all these cars yeah, that maybe going. somebody will want and maybe nobody will want, right? That's the way the it's Brown, been. Tell us the Brown story. Well, it, you know, back then, I'm, I'm from, you know, my, 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 uncle, my uncle brought uh, Suzuki motorcycle in the United States, you know, so this yeah, stuff's oh, in my wow. blood, right? But, you know, from the days when they would throw your cars up on the roof, yeah, right? Yeah, the keys on right? the roof. Yeah, your trade, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, the always of the, the, the stick around brown car, you know, like. Stick around brown. You, know, you, you come in to buy the pro white and uh, believe it or not, you somehow get talked into the stick around brown. And, you know, there won't be that anymore. There will be the, the option cars that the person wants. And if we're able to give that visibility, I got to tell you, we're no longer selling a product. The product is just a tool for the efficiencies and the bottlenecks. And let me tell you something. Any of my customers, it is not for a lack of effort. It's everything they got. It's early. It's late. They don't stay there all night, right? But right. damn near. Oh, yeah. Damn yeah, near. Yeah. So this is not a lack of effort. This is a, hey, guys, let's stop licking envelopes and let's use email. Oh, there you know what I mean? Right, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the difference, you know? Stagecoach to spaceship. This is nothing that hasn't happened in the last 100 years of inventions, right? Yeah. Henry Ford designed how we build the car, and right. we're still copying that. Absolutely. Prior to that, they wanted faster horses. I got that's, one. That's the industry you're changing. Jason's wants okay. to, Jay, Jay wants to ask you a question. Right. I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. You're going to say, record dealer profits, record carrier profits. Record dealer profits, record carrier profits. Which one? Which one Which do we one? have? Record dealer profits, record carrier profits. Which one? Right now, today? Yeah. That's a question. Well, obviously the dealer is has the record profits. Okay. And so that's my answer. That it, okay, well, that's I just, true. I, I, yeah. They so do, where's the But at the end of the day, if I here, if I'm gonna order you lunch and yeah. we do grub up. Yeah. You want Jimmy John's? Perfect. Sure. I'll order that, right? Yeah. Number These digital nine. platforms are awesome, right? Yeah. But if there isn't a person at Jimmy John's to make the sandwich right. and there isn't Grubhub to deliver it, your digital platform sucks. So exactly. we are going to fix this from the boots, right. give the numbers to the suits, right. and we are going to take boots, this to a to whole new level. There you go. It's a whole new so, level. So, Jay, yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure where you're going with that, but I, I think it was that maybe the carriers need to make more money. Yeah, dude, because right. here's the thing. that Damn right. Damn because right. Damn right. Yeah. <laughs> we need to be making the necessary moves. The necessary Thank moves, you. not the unnecessary not, yeah, moves. Exactly. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Well, see, the a guy moving a car would much rather take it to the customer that actually wants it, that's seen it visually at twelve hundred, than going ahead and moving that same car three times at oh, seven, eight hundred bucks. It's just. Yeah. Well, the thing that that you said the other night that, it, that really drove it home for me, Jay, was this: the idea about Amazon. You were telling me about Amazon. You're like, okay, this is great. You know, yeah. they got all this yeah. stuff. Push a button, you have it in two Does days. anybody realize? How who's got trucks? all the trucks? The who's got the planes? Who's the got warehouses, the warehouses? The resources to do to all make that, that happen. Yeah, right. Right. I think everybody. This is not going to get fixed by everybody going buying something digital. It's, it's not, not going to get fixed by everybody buying no, something digital. Not. <laughs> it's, it's not going to. There has to be boots on the ground. There has to be logistics. This this is why this is what I get to hang out with, and this is what I got the big smile on my face because this is real life, guys. Yeah. And the, this, the narratives that we hear, the narratives that we see, they're great, and it's a nice idea. But honestly, at the end, you have to have people like Jay, Jason, and Jay and Ty and everybody in our group here that are willing and able to actually do the work. Yeah. They and you gotta we, do the work, but we have to have the tools. <clears throat> and then to you've got a leadership guy like yourself who's literally driving the truck and sleeping in the transport parking yeah, lot. I, I'm not, we're not afraid. So to amazing. Get involved, but so that's amazing. how you have to know. Yeah. Okay. So, one, this kind of little back to business. Okay. Right. You've been here since uh, Monday, I believe. Yep. Yep. Okay. Monday. Yep. And it's kind of been fun because I get to kind of just watch. You know, I'm, I'm a lurker out here. Yeah. I get to watch you interact with yeah. the people. And you got to go on stage. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, I was not, I was uh, uh, lucky enough to be invited to sit down with Hyundai Globus uh, and Hyundai on the manufacturing side, General Motors, and then uh, some pretty cool company called uh, Freight Verify. And um, we're, we're, we're working on those partnerships to be able not only to, when the trucker grabs that truck, right, he then becomes a professional photographer. His work is, is validated, right? And then those pictures are then uh, logistically sent to the internet and um, uh, accountability for everyone. Okay, we've got, do you have a second? I'm on an intermediate. Well, just real quick. This is Marisol, yeah. Marisol Globus. We met her yesterday. We got to uh, know her a little bit better, right? Yeah. And I got to watch some interviews. So Globus, 
EV boats, right? Is that about right? EV boats? And you were on the panel with Jason's <laughs> EV boats. No, you moved, <laughs> moved the EV cars with the boats. Across the pond, yes, you did. That's a big job, yeah. huge job. Yeah. Well, thank you for stopping me. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you want, I know you're on the phone, so I'll let you go. But thank you for stopping by thank and you. saying hi. Crashing your interview. Sorry about that. No, no, you're great. Uh, so yeah, so um, uh, back to the the visibility. That's what everybody's talking about, and I don't know what's more visible than our picture. So, so I want I want to I want to you know I'm gonna be I don't have the I don't have the hair for bob ross but i'm gonna paint paint a picture here for you jay yeah all right now let's go back this to this get the better right? video. let's let's paint this i'm gonna paint you a picture right there's there's only happy mistakes right isn't that how bob ross said it mistakes? Yeah, um, i like that so a truck gets dropped off 3 a.m by the trucker he runs through the black widow it's pictured it's up six hours earlier for the dealer right efficiency right then that car gets picked up we logistically know where it's going right he picks it up. Those photos are then transferred back to the dealership site. And then with our new partners, uh, Freight Verify, we're able to tell you where that vehicle is going down the road. Now, I know it's going to make some people angry, but it's going to give credit for what's being done. And, they, and, and everybody agreed on the OEM side that if, if we're going to change this, we got to be hard on ourselves. And, you know, what better time to take the risk? Yeah. You know, take yeah. the catastrophe and let's let's turn this into something. Right. Risk is a down payment on success. And it's not going to get done by one person. I'll certainly jump in and I'll help everybody. But they agreed, you know, on our panel that, guys, we we got to fix this now. And this wow. hasn't changed in 50 years. It's antiquated. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? That was in the last, it might have been your panel. Oh, that, it was talking, it was, that was your panel. Yeah. That was uh, Christine. Yep. She was yep. talking about now is the time to capitalize off the pandemic yeah, to really get this. I, could, I, oh, I didn't have much beautiful. to comment to that because it was, you know. She did great. Uh, yeah, it, it was good. It was really good to actually be around a few. And I think, you know, everybody retires at a certain point. I think it's, it's time to finish up the antiquated stuff, give credit for the truckers that are moving it. Now they're, they're just driver shortages. They're talking about shortages. They're talking about how to autonomous trucks and this and that. And it's like, guys, we have enough drivers. Yeah. We have enough trucks. Yeah, I agree. Let's take the damn car right. to the right person yeah. and stop all these non-necessary moves. Yeah. I'm not saying we're going green, but there's no reason to be running these truckers ragged. No. I've been in that position where they ran me ragged yeah. and we crashed. Yeah. And people died. There was a bad accident. And you know, real. they, they, they real wanted story. to know where the car was. Yeah, and it's like, are people you are dead, and they're wondering. Yeah, yeah, dude, I totally know. So I got to tell you, there isn't anybody that I know that would not relate to what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, you because, got the fan bit, you got the boot base. Oh, and that's but, what yes, you need. That's it, because they're the ones doing it. It's not the guys in the suits in the top of the building. We they were, may have the final decision, but yeah. Well, one of the things I said in that family feud, and everybody's talking about this driver shortage, and I agree with you. I don't think it's a shortage. My opinion is, is I think we have too much government overreach and people don't want to be in that position where you've got somebody always in your rear end. Yeah. That, that, That's kind of getting tired. There's so many rules you know? that you have to follow as a logistics provider that they have no clue. No clue. You know? And I, oh. I think until everybody respects the fact of what it takes to actually do this job. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to, I, mean, I hate fight. to say it, but, you know, nobody likes to rock the boat. Nah. But we'll rock it, flip it, whatever we got to do, because somebody's got to fix it. I wish I was here for a different reason, but that's what I'm here to do is, is to bring this together and say, it's the best this reason. is the best way to do it. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Um, well, this is, uh, I think we've hit a lot right here. I mean, yeah, that's that was honest, really I was good. really wanting to have this conversation with you because Thank you. I was very, very impressed with the ability to interact with everyday people well i think more than anything i don't need to be right yeah but i need to be around the right people right that understand the same message and there for you, you to witness it oh man without beautiful. any interaction and them actually admitting you know what we need to we need to work on this and, and so that's what it starts Call them it out. starts yeah. a revolution of okay yeah let's, make let's it. do it so other than that it's keep the status quo it's don't rock the boat I can't, I can't see, I can't step back and see that happen. I no. can't. And I, th and I think, like you said, and I didn't put that together until you just said it, but what Christine was saying on that panel about now's the time. And then to have Rory with Mercedes, that yeah, lady, she was talking. the same and validate yeah. the same exact yeah. On a different panel. I had more people, you know, we're Black Widow, we're dead in center, we're yeah. the new guy here with the OEMs. They don't, you know what I mean? Right. I'm telling you, I'm not a big drinker, okay? But I couldn't drink all the drinks I was offered after that, <laughs> after saying that. I couldn't. I mean, it was like, That's, I won't be here tomorrow. 
Every, you know what I mean? But literally, it was like everybody it has been the same thing for fifteen years. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Finally, something something new. different. Something, something new that cool. is gonna. Yeah. Right. Cool. But like, uh oh, it's time Ooh. for us to kind of like everybody doesn't want to rock the boat. Yeah. Well, we're so. here to rock the boat, and I'm happy to be in the boat with you, man. Yeah, absolutely. We're rocking glad the boat. To watch us. Yeah. Rocking you know, the boat. Thank, Jay, you. Uh, Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Good to see you here as much. Uh, but we'll uh, see glad you next to week. Have Ty. He'll be with us next week. Oh yeah, we'll see you uh, next, we'll week. See you next week. Couple week, days. Right? Yes. So, yeah. yeah. We're going right from here to there. So. Are you going there? Yeah. Okay, good. Yep. Well, uh, Jason, thanks for the time. Thanks for everything. Yeah. I mean, this is incredible. Yeah. Thank you. Your, your ex exhibition, uh, is that how you say it? Yeah, exhibit. Exhibit. Uh, exhibit. Not a, you're not an exhibitionist, right? It's oh, not yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was no good. tricks. Black Widow, get the demo. Black Thanks, Widow guys. and Jason. Thank you, Jay. Real yes. guy. Thank you very awesome, much, buddy. Thanks so much, Jason. Night. How are we on time, Jay? Uh, we're doing pretty good. I mean, uh, we're probably almost there. If you can, um, I don't know if Marisol's done with her conversation or no, you guys, she had the, she's trucking she, she that way. Off. Yeah. Uh, super smart lady, by the way, uh, got to spend some time with them, their truck over here. I think I showed you guys the truck, didn't I? Yesterday. I don't the know. The car hauler truck. Oh no. Let's take a look at it. Okay. We'll go look at the car hauler truck and then kind of wrap it up. But yeah. <clears throat> okay. So Mars, Marisol works for Glovis. She's on the boat side. She's, uh, from what I understand, trying to get like EV companies that manufacture, produce EVs to um, let her take care of their, getting their cars to where they need to go on the boat. Got it? Which is really so interesting because if you take her, you take that, that's the Hyundai Glovis row row plus EV, add Black Widow, and then Christine at Freight Verify, you've got a network of visibility growing. Yeah. Right? Well, I lo okay, so this morning, really cool story. I got to hang out with some, uh, or this guy named Bruce with Georgia Port Authority. I just sat there like a sponge. This, okay, you know how we don't talk about Roro that much? Correct. Well, there's a reason, because we don't know that much. After that conversation today, okay, so the boat company, and they go after the OEM and get the account. Before they can take the cars to any port, they have to go to this other company. And I forgot the name of it. Uh, but it's a big company, and you can't mess around with these guys. Can't get in the port unless you got to deal with them. Then you have to make another deal with the processing guys to get the cars off the boat onto the port. So anyway, just a whole lot of working parts, a lot of working parts. I think there might be some politics and as well as some union stuff involved in all that. Whatever the case may be, point is is i don't know anything about it but man oh man <clears throat> talk about a whole nother world out there so anyway transport parking lot <clears throat> which is uh, why i just want to say this which is why when you when you book one car on the load board going to the port there's a whole lot more involved than just taking a car somewhere and that's why yeah there it is it's crazy and you know then you start these guys on so i'm like what kind of volume are you talking about and then they got inspection people okay they got a whole cr deal over there too at the ports they got uh, i'm just i can keep going and going about stuff that i don't even know anything about <clears throat> point is is that i'm learning uh we're here to learn and we're here to help other people learn so how does this tie into used cars well ask candy at jack's port right she might be able to tell you exactly and so bringing it home what's neat is Ty, you're on location at shows. We're continuing to grow this channel because rather than just standing behind a bunch of large security guards and we can't get in and all we just we hear that you know we're not welcome and all this stuff, we're in our own vertical. It's about time we open the doors of knowledge and and we start learning more from yeah. from you know from so, the ecosystem. Uh, right. So this particular truck, okay, there's. Uh, Globus, Charles Franklin the Third. You keep hearing me say that guy's name. Cool guy. Charles Franklin the Third works for Globus. So does Marisol. Charles Franklin the Third. They've got Globus has an eighty percent stake in a transport company now. Did you catch that? Yes. So basically, they own their own transport company. Right. Which I think we had heard something about that a few years ago at a trade show, right? I believe you're wrong. absolutely correct. I believe I'm right? correct. Okay. 
okay. And I've heard other things too that are coming in the pipe. But we're right. stuck here with in fact, this. You've got. You're not going to tell. You're not going to. You can't say anything. But you've already got some secrets, don't you? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, keep yeah. going. Wow. All right. Keep going. Okay. So Glovis, they've got boats. Okay. We met. We saw Mars. Marsaw. We Charles Franklin III. He's a hard guy to talk to. He's really popular. So we, I probably won't be getting Charles. But <clears throat> they have an 80 percent stake in a car hauling company now. So. Last night we came out here with Charles Marsaw, Marsaw, and we they gave away prizes. We looked at the truck, and he said, "Guess what? We got like 50 or 80 trucks, but by this date we're going to have 150 of these." So you know what Charles is going to need, Jay? He's going to need to come on ATI and talk about how to get car hauler drivers in All this right. truck and promote it. Awesome! I look forward to right? that. Thank you. Know what, Ty? He should make an appearance on Cars on the Move. Where is he at? California? Yeah, he's a Cali guy. Hmm. Big time. So uh, I guess where we're going here, what, what does this have to do with anything? I I think things like this, right? You're going to start seeing some more of this kind of stuff. What and, am I pointing at? Well, uh, oh, yeah, you're... I'm, I'm, Took the, I took the screen away from you. Here, no, go ahead. You can have it. Well, you're pointing the. Oh man, I'm now I'm hitting the wrong button and everything. Here's what I want to. I want to. Sh I want to share this. Is that this? Because this is pretty neat. One of the things we've seen in this wrap up. Where, what are we getting at? Right. We have a lot of different things to talk about. And you know what's neat, Ty? This. Yeah. You're at the show. We're sharing on social media that we're there. We are a group of guys promoting the transport side of business and look at the reaction to this to this post the the reaction that we're getting is good it is we are having an effect and it's on the transport side of this business so yeah. what you're doing by by being there Ty and you know this by being there you're yeah. creating more visibility to the carrier <laughs> side of automotive which just I when everybody that, yeah. thought nobody cares, guess what? Right. We, There's here. a lot of caring going on. And, you know, you keep saying it, and you're absolutely right, just so you know, that when you hear these OEM guys in here, these big suits, as Jason might say, and you hear these guys start saying things like, we're buying transport companies, a big portion of them. We are uh, looking about talking about three-car wedge trailers. We're talking about... They're, and by the way, just so everybody knows, because everybody always wants to pile on the, well, you're just Carvana model. No, these aren't Carvana people. These are OEM guys. Big difference, right? And I'll tell you what, you know what? I'm so glad you just said that because you know what's happening is that, uh -huh. okay, so dealers and tech, they're bagging on Carvana in their own way because they feel the competition. Yeah. Well, guess what? We now have, as you know, we now have Carvana folks watching this channel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Room is watching yeah. this channel, dude. Yeah, yeah, because absolutely the 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 way the great the way somebody's granddaddy did it. No man. No, and and you know Jason just said that, uh, and then to hear you know I I was there and Chris on when the when Jason was on the stage and they were talking about uh, these things and Christine, I can't ever remember her last name. Crathwall. Craftwall. Christine Craftwall, who's been in this industry for a long time as a big uh, C-level GM, right? To hear her talking about, let's let's get this right. Now's the time to move. And, and different things like that, along with other people saying stuff, is really, really a big indicator that I think things are getting ready to get pretty real. So, And in, in, and in conjunction with that, it feels like a car's on the move now, doesn't it? It's yeah, so cool. I feel like I'm back in my zone. I know, here. right? Like, let me get it's back so to the cool. truck. It's so cool, the transport parking lot. <laughs> um, I just want to say this is that at the show, because, I mean, I'm hearing there's there's been some real talk, like, wait a minute, you need to clean your house before you can clean our house. Uh, well, we have the same problem. seems like all the verticals have this problem. Oh, yeah. And, right? So we are working on cleaning oh, yeah. the house before we, we know... Which is not easy. Man, that's not easy. And how do you even do that? Yo, know, Sue keeps emailing me. 
Like, F <laughs> this person, F <laughs> this person, because she's boots on the ground on the dispatch front line, which is right. brutal. Brutal. All right, what do you got? I, know, I just got tired of holding that. So I was like, oh, yeah, it yeah, doesn't weigh much. But, man, when your arm's out there like that for an hour, you're right on. Whoa, where's my production assistant at, Ron? Yeah, oh. <laughs> 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 oh man um well you, we i'll are, hold the uh, camera for you when we get to vegas but right. yeah. exactly <clears throat> exactly well tuesday night's gonna get interesting i was actually working on um uh i was working on the graphic and gearing up for that that's it you next week's gonna get interesting tomorrow let's just we'll wrap up tomorrow we we're gonna do car are we doing cars on the move tomorrow do you want to yeah Okay. Yeah, I'll be back uh, back in my transport parking lot where I feel good about life. Um, and I, I there's, think, yeah, I think Brian wants to join us tomorrow from the exhibition show. Tomorrow's going to be another interesting show. Yeah. Well, I get. I guess the thing, you know, and again, I always say this, and I and I mean it with my heart. Uh, Jay and I go back before the, he started the show, and the, the to be a part of this, it's it can be a little nerve wracking on our end, you know. I mean fly out here drop some coin talk to some people who really don't want to talk to you i mean there are people that in this in this ecosystem who do not want to talk to me right and I, i'm not crying about that i mean it's because their camera's shy no that it's no we don't talk about that stuff you know shut up and go away and that's okay everybody needs their own deal in their own space but i think the more light we can put on some of the bigger issues that that it's definitely easy to talk about. Great. If you want to get into granular and you want to start really microanalyzing stuff and pointing fingers, I'm not sure how productive that is, but as a whole, <clears throat> there's opportunity is what I'm really getting at here. The opportunity, things are going to change. You know, so are things going to change for the better? Are things going to maintain the same? Or are things going to get worse? I think you got three choices. So who are you? What do you want to accomplish in life and where are you currently at, right? Whether that's, I want to be a car hauler. I want to be a car dealer. I want to own an auction. Uh, you're like, what? Yeah. I mean, we can talk about all those things moving forward. What do you think 2022 is going to look like? And where are you at in that game, in that, in that spot? So uh, Jay putting together this show, ATI, and having the opportunity to shed light on these things and help a community that's pretty dysfunctional is amazing. So thank you, Jay. And thank you, man. I appreciate it. You know, uh, it's cool is that, uh, and you can see it in the live chat. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, John. Mark is here. B Logistics. If that's John G, I'm telling him I got his message. I'll try to call him maybe some today or next week. Well, we got John Cochran. Okay. John, John C. G called. Okay, okay. sorry. Well, that's cool. No, and so I think, I think, I think that we, on a media and networking level, are experiencing what the frustration that drivers are experiencing at locations. We're we're not not everybody's saying yeah, ATI. We love you guys. Come on in. No, right. my gosh. Oh, right. not at all. And no. so, but we so we know how hard it is to. Uh, to, to you know if, if you are a an agent of change whoo, yeah you're, you're facing a wall you've, and we, we you've yeah we you got, got those some walls. challenges we got yeah so we have challenges too and we get it and that's where like I, yeah. already I, te I will say this proof that things change there's already one less channel out there just saying you're gonna get rich and everything is awesome and I, I do believe that there will be even less of those over time. There'll be yeah. less. There'll be another new money channel. Be autonomous. Be a robot. I don't know. Not yeah. that that stuff isn't happening, but it's not a simple thing. And this is we're in the long game. We talk about this. We do. And, that, and that, it's beautiful because we encourage anybody in the business, no matter what aspect or sector of this business to have that long game mentality and uh, really think things through, not only as you get in, but even if you are in, to really kind of see. And, you know, that's that's one of the treats of being here is, uh, yeah, maybe you don't have the time. Maybe you got the money, you don't have the time. 
right? Or maybe you have the time, you don't have the money. Well, if you sit here and you watch this from start to finish, I bet you get a, quite a few tips as to what's going on at this conference, right? Well, and I'll tell you what, like yesterday's show, I didn't create Ooh. a podcast because of the audio, but I'm going to create a podcast of this one. I think if you're driving down the road, this might be a good one to listen to. There was a lot of information here today, and we never know what we're going to get. What, you didn't? No. You, you couldn't get all those interviews with all those guys that you've talked to? <clears throat> maybe later, maybe we can get them well, on the show. you know, Anthony Montero, he's already gone. I don't know how that I, happened. Right, exactly. <laughs> I came in the show. I was like, so excited. I'm like, Anthony, where his whole thing's gone. So, and then, uh, yeah, I yeah, know. yeah. I just think, uh, I think one of the things is, is I, I, okay, me being here representing ATI presence. Okay, you yeah. guys hear me say this all the time. Go hang out at the auction. Well, I don't know anybody at the auction. Okay, well, go hang out at the auction. Well, I can't get in the auction. Okay, go hang out in the transport parking lot. Presence, right? presence people see you what are you doing what are you what are you doing standing in the parking lot i guess uh the more you can get engaged in what it is you're trying to do where you live what you're where you're at you know you hear me say all the time start in your backyard go talk to a car dealer start in your backyard go talk to you know if you live near a port go talk to a port person if you live near a uh, auction go talk to an auction go talk i mean here's the thing i'm telling you i've been here for three days and I, i'm talking to a lot of people I do have some answers to some issues that I'm trying to figure out, but at the same time, I've got more questions. But it's because I'm talking to people, right? And it's just a bread tr crumb trail, and we're going for it, and we're trying to give you as much as we can uh, because we appreciate you guys, okay? Amen to that. And so, to continue our journey, uh, we have used car week next week, which is yet another yeah. crowd. Uh, I don't know if I said that very well. Tell me, uh, yeah. yeah, what you know, well, the crowd. <laughs> what I like to what I like to do when you bring that up is I like to say thank you, Bill Zadai. Okay. Amen. Thank now, you, when Bill I Zedite. say that, yeah, I really, yeah, hashtag thank you, Bill. Thank you, yeah. Bill. Yeah. Uh, incredible guy, and you know I've met Bill twice, and for him to open up and and let us participate is really cool, and I, I'm thankful for that. So, crowd, yeah. what do we got? Used this car is week. a used car man used car week there's a lot of financial fintech right a lot of fintech talk going to be a lot of used car guys there probably going to be some digital guys there right yep <clears throat> are there going to be any transportation companies there jay yes there are and so i want to say this is that i think if you take automotive logistics oems and uh nationwide auto transport businesses and then digital tech service providers from finished vehicle logistics let's go over to use car week a used car week now you've got that big dealer contingent plus auctions you don't have dealers and auctions at finished vehicle logistics not much we're going to go over to the di the dealers and auctions crowd group and we're going to also add repossession we're going to add auto remarketing which is the banks we're going to add yes there are still some carrier companies I mean, it's actually a bigger slice of the automotive industry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this one is exciting. You know, different energy. But, you know, so what I'm looking forward to is to. So I've been here for three days and I've heard shortage, shortage problem. No real solution that I heard or direction. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what some of the topics are at the used car week because the used car guys, there are used cars. So the problem or challenge is how are we getting the used cars, right? I can't, they cost too much to buy. <clears throat> Does that mean that you're not making any money as a used car dealer? And in fact, well, man, there's, we're, if, 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 I, if we keep talking, we're going to be here all day. I know you got to yeah. wrap it up. I like the way. Actually, that's a good teaser because next week we're gonna we're gonna be continuing <laughs> drinking from, you know. And now with, good tw with with twenty two looming. Anyways, all right. Well, we'll do what we'll do is we'll leave it there. Ty, thank you so much for going to California covering this event for Auto Transport Intel. I really, really appreciate it, man. 
Yeah, you're welcome. I'm always happy to be a part of it. It's again, it goes to relationships. I can't emphasize enough. This would be our I was that talking to a guy. I don't remember who it was. It might have been Jethro with Cognosis, but uh, we've been. What are we at? Maybe four of these now. We well, we're we're in our fourth year of conferences, which is what's really amazing. Is in the grand scheme of you know the Jurassic period and the Permian sedimentary block, we're like a blip. And look at how much has happened. Yeah, yeah, and it's where I was kind of going with that was okay. So four, I had to stop and think about it, but it's really interesting because. People here are, oh, hey, Ty, where's Jay? Right? Like, I get that. Oh, hey, Ty, where's Jay? Oh, what was your name? I can't remember. I met you at the Baltimore conference. Oh, I saw you in Detroit. Oh, I saw your ATI show. It's amazing. Different parts of that. So, you, you know, you, the first one we ever went to, I think Jay and I both were like, this is going to be interesting. You know, talk about a fish out of water. Wow. So... <laughs> <clears throat> It's fun. It's a fun journey, and it's a, yeah. it's amazing to actually get to this place where you know there is some recognition and there is some relationship. And I think I, yeah. I always go back to the relationship of any part of this conversation, show, crisis, pandemic, good times, bad times, relationship. I promise. Well, and Used Car Week is going to be really interesting because now I was trying to okay, I was trying to calculate. I think that there's going to be maybe 800 people ish. I went through all 27 pages of the attendees. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Say so maybe 800 people. I think we know, we know up to 10% of that 800. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty of room to grow. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Plenty of room to grow, yet yeah. plenty, because it used to be what? Like 0.1. So. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Exactly. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, there, man, there, there, there's a good, uh, <clears throat> good, good people relationship. It's key, important thing. And um, I don't know why I'm sitting here looking at this trailer. I'm like, do you guys want to see something real quick? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ooh, squirrel, squirrel. Squirrel. Okay, I'm at the, this is a stinger, right? Which I'm a stinger guy. This is a what we call a quick load because there's, there's the high rail, but this is a quick load. So this deck comes up. But do you see this ramp right here? See, it comes from here. This would be the last spot on the top of the trailer. So if you have a, a big unit here that's tall and you got to put, let's say, a smaller SUV below it, you lift this deck up, this ramp actually comes out. Did you know that? And you slide it underneath here. You hide it out of the way so you can gain that extra height. And this is innovation, right? Which, by the way, uh, this was an interesting story. Okay, this is a Cottrell. This member of Charles Franklin III, how I keep saying that name, this is one of their trucks now, 80% of it anyway. And uh, he made a comment last night that they're looking at some different manufacturers. Cottrell, you should come on the Tuesday, Friday, Cars on the Move, and let's talk about Sounds Cottrell like products. I smell an opportunity. Do you smell that? money smelt it no. you guys remember who we had on the uh remember our friend alex trans west oh yeah no alex he we should have him on again from uh trans west in fact i was thinking um yeah i'm a cultural well, fan by the way i make i make notes of these things I'm a big we, cultural fan well i know you are and 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 i think cultural has many fans yeah they do I would love to see Cottrell do some advertising. And I would love to see you do more. Let's talk about this Demo. trailer. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't do enough of that. You know, yeah, maybe know. we should do more of it. But we as should. a whole, I'll do. Okay. Let's just do one quick one just for All fun. All right. Let's okay? do it. Yeah. I got. What yeah. time is it? My time where I'm at. All right. So it is 11 a.m. Pacific time. Okay. I got time. All right. All right. Okay. You're going to, I'm going to show you a stinger. Stinger is, you know, Brian's really good at this. This is where you need Brian because Brian starts telling you it's a how many pounds and what kind of driver's license you got to have and all those crazy things that I really don't want to hear about. But they're very important things, okay? So 
I'm going to show you how do you load one of these car haulers, all right? That's what I want to know. I got nine cars. They're all lined up over here. We'll just do make believe. Okay, this is fun. I love this. This is where it gets really fun. This is the game you used to play, the big truck guys. How do you get all this stuff loaded? So let's walk through here real quick. We got a Mitsubishi. Hold on, let me get this straight. We'll start with this little Toyota. We got a Corolla. That's one. Keep your list, Jay. Make a list. Okay. Make the nine car list for me. All right, I got. I got a Corolla. <clears throat> this yep. is a better than Larry because we're gonna ask the audience how do you load these nine units on that truck right there. Got it. Corolla got it. number one. We got okay. a Mitsubishi. What is that? SUV. Outlander. Outlander. Small. Outlander. Let's go ahead and throw a big one on here. How about this big uh, uh, Infiniti QX80? Okay. One, two, three. Is that okay. three? Yep. All right. Oh, here's another. Let's do it. Make it a big one. How about another SUV? Lincoln. Lincoln. I don't know which one. Maybe this is a baby one. Um, That'll work. MK. We'll make it work. Yeah, it was just MK small. All one, right, two, SUV. three, okay. four. Shoot, I'm going for it, man. Let's do another big one. Yeah. How about the Cadillac SUV? You see That's it? That's what pays Caddy. Which one is this, Caddy. maybe? Uh, this one is the 400, 400. X. Okay. T5. XT5, okay. Got yeah. it. Let's do this Mazda 3. I need a small car real quick. Hang on. See, and, and guess what Guess what role I'm playing right here? Dispatcher. Dispatcher. Yeah. yeah. And is this, is, We're going to load a, this thing. But no, nah, it's a garbage business. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, we got too many SUVs on this load. I'm going to try to find a... Ooh, and I've got a Tesla. That's going to be too heavy. Shoot. Well, let's just be the broker who doesn't know how to load anything and give you nine cars that they think will fit. That'll be better, okay? This will be a fun. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. How about this Traverse, Chevy Traverse? This thing's big. Look at it. Yeah. It's not quite a Tahoe or Suburban, but it's pretty good size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? Well, I'm missing one. Uh, I got Outlander, Corolla, QX80, Lincoln, Caddy, Traverse. Oh, you're missing the Mazda 3, the baby car. Oh, okay, great. Mazda baby 3, car. good. Give me another one, one of those. One, two, three, four, five, Give six, Give me some gold seven, bars. Seven. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We I'm going to have to find more. another car. Here we At go. At least Let's we don't have any this. trucks. That'll be good. Well, you got that QX80. That thing's huge. It's worse yeah, than that a truck. Is big. And that Traverse How about is the little Lexus? Uh, what is this? IS300? 200? Oh, okay. Good. I, I like that. Yeah, good. IS Give me 200. How many do we have now? We have eight. Eight? Here, I'll do Honda, Honda Accord. Great. I like that. Honda All right. Accord. All right, good. Is that our nine? Yeah, so we got. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. We got. I'm gonna do SUV versus sedan. Uh, we got. Let's see. One, 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 one. Uh oh. Uh, we only have three. We have. Oh, we have four sedans and five SUVs. Okay. Four sedans, five SUVs. Yeah. Okay. All right. So behind me. You're watching this. You want to be a car hauler. You got money. You bought a big stinger. Uh, you're not sure who your customer is yet, but I just want to know how to load my new truck that I paid 300 grand for. Okay, Todd, can you help me with that? Sure. So the first thing we do is we start the truck. We put our parking brake on. And we try to load on level ground. Okay? That's, a, that's helpful if you can do that. You can't always do it. But start the truck. Prefer level ground, power brake, hit your parking brake. Next is your PTO, engage your PTO, right? Where's your tie down bar? I don't know. All right, we'll figure that out later. So now we've got to set the truck up because we got the truck running, we got the PTO on. What do we do first? Well, everybody has different steps, okay? And that's where you. the fun part is, is because these nine cars, there's not a right way to load them in my opinion. I mean, there's the basic fundamentals. You have to have straps and they got to fit and you don't want to break stuff. But <clears throat> Jay and I have nine cars. Jay can load it 
nine different ways and I can load it nine different ways. We both load it different. So truck started, parking brakes on, hydraulics engaged. First thing you want to do is come back here and pull your ramps out. We have to drive the car on the trailer and the ramps have to be out for the car to get on the trailer. Follow that? Then what I would do, see they got, this is called curbside. So your controls for your hydraulics are here. See them? And they tell you how to load. 17, so you pull 17, maybe you don't know where 17's at, like me. So you come back here. Can you see that? There's 17. So when I pull or push that lever, this is going to come back or forward. Why do I need it to come back or forward? You'll figure that out a lot later. Okay. So the, here are our control valves. Right here, we need to probably pull 10. 10 is going to be up front here. And it's going to come up. Why do we need it to come up? Because I need it to get to the tractor, right? So once I get it level with the tractor, this back deck, I'm going to extend the ramp. What's that? Number 11. Okay, so I lift this up, lift this up, extend this. This is what you call your jumper. See, there's a gap. See the gap from here to here? How are you going to get the car up here? On the top, we're going to use the top of the deck. Some trailers actually load the top from the bottom. We'll get there another day. This goes up. It meets up here with this. Right? And you drive from the trailer to the truck. Now, this is where it gets fun because you can get a lot of haters. So if I have any of my big truck buddies out here, my nine car hauler guys are like, oh, you're stupid. You don't do it like that. I'm like, you're right. You don't do it like that. So leave me alone because I do it that works for me. So we got our nine cars. You want to go first? What are you going to load? Number? Okay, so everybody's got positions, right? I call this number one. Number one. Then you can really start getting stupid. Are you going to back it on or are you going to pull it on, right? What are you going to do? Well, we do have a lot of SUVs, and they're taller. And this is what you call, can you see the drop pocket? This is a drop pocket. So if I've got a lot of SUVs, I'm personally going to probably scoot this drop pocket in a little bit because my back tire may actually come through. I don't. That's a little too much space for me. So these slide out and they slide in. Do you see that pin right here? Can you see that? Okay, you pull that pin, you can slide it in or out. I'm going to personally, I'm going to back one of my SUVs on there. Which one? The Traverse, okay? I'm going to back the Traverse on. It's big, takes a lot of space. I can set it down and I'm good on my height, right? So there's one. Next, personally, I'm going to probably put the big Infinity QX80 on here. That's going to be my number two position. Why? Well, it's big and it's tall and it's heavy. So I got two heavies up here. Am I overweight on my steers? No. Am I overweight on my drives? No. Well, what are you going to put underneath it? Because that QX80 is so big, you pull it on. It has, uh, it has a drop pocket on the front of this one. Not all of them do. I don't know that you need the drop pocket, doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna put the little uh, Toyota Corolla right here. Why? Because it's really small. So you back in the Corolla. Okay, so I got my Traverse, I got my Infinity. This particular trailer, after you get the top two loaded, you're gonna drop that this deck down. Remember I told you to raise it up to get it to here? So we're gonna lift this up out of the way. We're gonna bring this down to here and this deck still extended so I don't need to go back and forth back and forth I just drop it down my deck's extended to here and I'm going to back my Corolla in got it I'm going to put my strap on it I'm going to set this down and I promise you I'll be under 14 foot probably like 13 something no problem on high tier got it okay now we've got all that accomplished good job way to hustle what do you got you keep going okay uh, next, we're going to load our trailer. We're going to load the top of the trailer first. 
Uh, I'm trying to remember what I got left. I'm going to go probably with my Mitsubishi Outlander. I'll probably just pull it on. I'm going to probably put most of my SUVs on this top row here. So I'll go the, <clears throat> the Mitsubishi Outlander, the Lincoln, and the Cadillac. Those are going to be my three across here. How are you going to put them on? I'll probably just pull them on. Nose, no, you know, butt, butt the nose. Strap them up. Now we got to lift everything up. And we got to squeeze. Let's see. I got, uh, hang on, let me count. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. One, two, three. That leaves me with the Lexus. Just pull it in. The Honda and the Mazda. Three babies all across the bottom. So I'm going to pull the little Lexus in here. So everything's up. And this is where you got to be careful. Um, I'm sure if you work for a big company, they're going to tell you once you raise everything up, you need to pin it. Pin it. This is your pin. Why do we pin it? See that? It goes in here like this. Look, it's pretty cool. Have you ever seen this? Okay, now if you look really close, see how it's notched? So you lift this up, you put your pin in, and then you set it right here. So when you're under here messing around, it doesn't come down on your head and you die. It's a nice safety feature. Uh, but I'll tell you, these things have come a long way, and there's really no reason for you to be underneath this thing, just to be honest with you. Once you lift everything up, they've got your straps. See your roller ratchets down here? It's all, I can access all of this from not being underneath it. There's really no reason for you to be crawling around underneath this once it's up on these newer trucks. Pull my Lexus in. Strap it. I personally like the back number two in the bottom right here. The reason I like the back number two in the bottom, see all that hydraulic system right there? This deck goes down. Bango, whammo, down. So you back a car on here. You got one in front of it, right? You back this one in. You drop that down. The frame, you got to be careful. You don't want to break the frame. But it basically gives yourself about two inches drops. So these SUVs you got on the top, no problem. All right. This last one, pull it on. Strap her down. Then we go pull our pins, set it. Get your height stick. Some of these have little hiding places for height sticks too. It's pretty cool. Little, uh, let me see if I can find you one. I don't see it. Might be on the other side, but usually there's a place somewhere around here, the little door or in this sleeper box, you put your height stick and your tie down bar and your gloves and your little toolbox. These little guys here, see this? This is a cool feature. You can lift this up and make it go higher or lower, depending upon what vehicle you put. So when you back it in here, what do we know? Height's always a problem when you're dealing with stingers. So what Cottrell's done is they've made this so you can you know, gain an inch, gain two inches, by working different parts of this. Uh, let's check in to see, yeah. So anyway, this is really a nice piece of equipment. Uh, and I've always said, <clears throat> anybody asks, you know, what kind of tractor? Peterbilt always has the best resale value right here, in my opinion. Uh, Volvo works good. I don't, you don't see too many Freightliners or Kenworths anymore, but uh, our buddy Trans West, he's got Western Stars with the War set up. It seems pretty interesting. I don't have any real hands-on experience with the lore, so maybe someday I can do that. So there's your nine cars. I got them loaded. It's a heavy load. I don't think we're overweight at all. I think it'll ride just fine down the road, and if anybody wants to fight about how I loaded it as compared to how you would load it, call me. We can talk about it. <laughs> that was awesome. There yeah, dude. Nice job, Ty. That was uh, fun. What did that, that take? Five that, minutes or less? We uh, just loaded might, nine cars virtually, guys. It might have been. Actually, I think it was longer. I think it was more like 15 or 20. But it oh, wow. felt, I mean, it was really cool. And and I like that you just did that because 
What's interesting is four years later, there's somebody like, yeah, I wanted that four years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll try to do a little better job on stuff like that. It, to me, this is just so natural, so easy. It's like, you don't clearly. know how to do this? No, and it's, well, and that's the thing is, there's so much business to... Vlad is here. Hey, what's up, Vlad? Thanks for tuning in. Um, all right, I'll tell you what. I know this. Here's what I know. I know I need to let you go because you got to wrap it up and get out of there. So, Ty, that was super cool. We'll put more of that on the agenda. We have so much follow. You've got a lot of homework to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what time are we leaving Monday, by the way? Exactly. Like, first thing oh, in the morning. Man. It's going to be nuts. Oh, wow. But it, you okay. know what's cool? We'll Let's catch up. I'll have my laptop with me. Yeah. We'll catch up at the airport. We'll spend some time making notes. We have a lot of work to do. Um, a lot of homework, hey, yeah. Tyrone absolutely. Mixon's here, too, yeah. So, guys, um, I'll just say this. Thank you so much for, if you're if you're still with us, thank you for being here with us. Ty, thank you. That was really cool. And I'll tell you, here's what I was thinking, too. I'll just share it. There should be a show where they're like, okay, and at 1 o'clock, Ty's going to walk around the trailer and we're all gonna you know see because because the thing is i guarantee right we everybody knows this there's an executive somewhere that doesn't know any of what you just said yeah yeah there is and and, and the drivers know that too drivers are like amen it's the first time in unison from the fuel island all the drivers went amen yeah. amen. <laughs> amen well <clears throat> there's uh you know loading it, it's fun loading in you know, I, I know we never really talk about it, but th this is honestly one of my favorite parts of this business. It's because you, you your phone's not ringing or you need to put your phone away when you're dealing yeah. with this. You There's a challenge. And, you know, listening to these guys in here talk about, you know, let's start a program and train the drivers. Okay, well, let's do this and do that. And I'm thinking, I, and those are all great things, great ideas. But the reality of it is, is it, and, and I always say this, who – what kind of individual are we dealing with that might want to do this? And I've always said, I think you got to be a little couple screws loose to want to want to engage in any of this because there's danger involved. There's challenges involved. And I think uh, my opinion is, is that, yeah, I think we should do a couple more of these just so people can see it's not that easy, you know, but I think I might've made we'll do, it look easy. Well, yeah. and what we'll do is to make it real life. I'll blow up your phone while you're trying to load it. You know, yeah. talking about, Where are you hey, at? the customers, Where are you? you know, that customer's got a hair appointment. You're going to have to pull number three off first, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just pull it off. It's no big deal. Just yeah. pull it off just, and then put and, it back on. That's it. It's like, fine. Reference ID, swing by, just swing on by, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, there's yeah. a, it's good, good information. But again, this is one of my favorite parts of this business. We just don't ever really spend much time talking about it. Uh, I like the challenge. I like the idea that you can take those nine cars we just listed and you can load them 900 different ways. And then I mean that. Gauss Jordan, look it up, right? And in finite math, Gauss Jordan method, Gauss Jordan method, it's in there. Now those nine cars, you take it, you put it through the formula, you can load those nine cars 999 different ways. Ridiculous, right? Gosh, and, and so when you start thinking about that perspective, that's why I said, hey, call me. Let's fight about it. <clears throat> you can vote it however <laughs> there you will want. Be. I can, and I think there yeah. will be. A, that, that's session 10, fighting over how to load. How to lo oh, it's, yeah. it's a real deal. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, that's why it's the that last session. Like it's that, the bloodiest. Ty. You yeah. don't put that up Dude, there. Oh, You're, my you God. Go, what are you, uh, some uh, kind of wedgie? Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, well, guys, uh, California, Newport, just absolutely beautiful day. So happy yeah. and blessed to be here and alive. Yeah. And thank you so much, Jay. Thank you, Ty. Have a have a safe travel back, and we'll you talk to I you. Will. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Okay, buddy. Sounds great. Thank you. All right. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Okay. You too. Bye. All right. See you, dude. All right, and we let him go. That was pretty cool. Uh, we never know exactly what is going to happen when Ty is unleashed at the trade show. Um, if you're still with us, thank you so much. If you listen to the end of the podcast, thank you so much. If you you know watch any part of the show, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, this is Auto Transport Intel. It's the end of Automotive Logistics, fi uh, Finnish Vehicle Logistics North America Conference. 
and now we look ahead to used car week to celebrate all of that we will go live again tomorrow at noon on cars of the move with ty and i think we've got maybe brian's gonna show up i'm not sure what's gonna happen tomorrow but please join us regardless thank you so much uh, it's Auto Transport Intel. Let me know how I can help. Send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. And yes, I do get the pictures of the loads and the trailers and the complaints about the load boards, and I file them away and, and bring it up at the right show. So if you got something you didn't see it today, uh, no worries. It does help. Please keep sending it. Thank you so much. Stay safe. We'll see you soon and join us tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. Yeah.